introducing the Bluetti AC240 power station and the uh, B210 expansion battery uh, together as a unit uh, with IP65 technology integrated. Now this unit here, it's uh, 360 degree protection with the internal components uh, and it's engineered uh, fairly rugged. It's made to withstand uh, dust and uh, moisture. Yeah, this unit is 360 degrees uh, protected with internal components. And it's very effective for protecting against dust and moisture intrusion. And that's exactly what the IP65 means. Protecting from dust and moisture intrusion. Having said that though, I can't, don't think you can just dump dirt on it or uh, use pressure washers to clean it off. If you uh, have some dirt or sand or dust, you can just wipe it off. Uh, same with uh, any mud or, or moisture, depending on what serves you're, you're doing with it. But it is a really rugged unit uh, meant for being outside. With that being said, it is also, also ready for the sea as it uh, is vastly protect protected against uh, sea corrosion. If you perhaps want to take it on a boat or a yacht or something like that. And it really is a true alternative to a gas power generator. Both the power station and the battery come with what's called an eco mode. And what the eco mode does is, if it's not feeling any power getting drawn off of either the battery or the power station itself, it kind of goes to sleep, conserving energy. And on top of that, you can uh, upload an app on your phone, and you're able to co control the unit with uh, the Blue Ready app uh, via Bluetooth. Not only in an off-grid situation would this be would be beneficial, but uh, if you have a, a travel trailer, or an RV, or a boat. Um, this is ideal for ideal setup for that situation. Now, this unit is modular. It uh, you can hook up to four expansion batteries to to that unit, which will give you over 10,000 watts of capacity. It's rated for 1,536 watt hours, with a capacity of 2,400 watts. The B210 expansion battery has a capacity of 2,150 watts. So just for those two units, two units there, it's 3,600 watts. But you add three more batteries to it. You get over 10,000. That's the AC240 and four B210 batteries, or 10,000 watts. Another cool feature about this unit is you can hook another complete unit up to it in parallel. So that'd be two AC240s and eight expansion batteries all together for over 20,000 watts. And that's a lot of stored energy. Now with two AC240 uh, systems, you need a parallel box, the P480. What that does is just connects, if you were to have two AC240s and the four expansion batteries, uh, in order to link them together to complete one unit, you need the, the, the parallel connection box. And when they are connected with that box, they are truly one unit. That being said, if you want to charge the whole unit, all you need is to do is plug in one unit. And it'll charge everything all at once. Now charging this would be either through the wall, through wall plug-in or through the solar panels like the PV350. But like I said, it's just one plug-in, that's it. Once the P40 uh, parallel box is hooked up, it's smart enough to know that it's instantly connected and it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be any additional setting set. It's just one and done. Now with the AC240, uh, it is both AC and DC power supply, whereas the B210 is uh, is standalone. It can it can charge DC stuff, uh, but not AC. It too is also IP65 rated. If I didn't mention that before, so that whole setup is good for outdoors. So if you're into the RVing, um, boating uh, type hobbies, this would be ideal for that. Decently set up. This could totally take over for for a gas-powered uh, generator. Which when you're out camping is kind of nice because it's just noise pollution, uh, refueling, refueling the gas generator, uh, the smell, etc. Right? Solves a few problems out there. So we'll just take a look at this a little further. Here we got uh, the DC outlets. So you got the regular cigarette lighter. And you have this direct current adapter. Um, your U USB C. Ports, we got two of them. USB A ports, two of them. Uh, your 120s, regular outlet, and then this is your RV plug for uh, utilizing the unit uh, for a travel trailer or or a boat or whatever to enable 
the DC circuit. Hit the button, green light comes on, you can do the same for USB and AC. And as you can see it's in eco mode right now. And for the 210 expansion battery, there, DC. We got our cigarette lighter, USB A, USB C. And each battery has the same thing, right? Now this unit is very, very simple to <laughs> very simple to hook up. The cords are all color coded, so you can't you can't get them backwards. Orange on orange and blue on blue. With the expansion batteries, they have the same color coding because the cords come with the expansion batteries. So when you get all four expansion batteries together, it just click, click, and then the other other batteries are the same thing. However, we want to arrange them whatever makes sense with the cords. Now for charging the unit, my old Blue Eddy, the AC200P, it had its own external charging block. And you had to charge or plug the charging block into the unit and then the, uh, the block itself had its own power cord that ran to the wall. This unit doesn't have a power block. It's, it must be internal. So it's basically just a cord that plugs into the AC240 and into the wall, which is nice. Everything is all nice and tidy. You don't have to worry about packing on a charging block. And same thing with the, the um, and it's the same thing with plugging in for the solar panels. It's just, it's just plug in. There's an adapter for that as well. Now, as I mentioned before, this uh, particular model, the, the AC240, you can utilize Blue Eddy's uh, mobile app on your phone and uh, control it via Bluetooth. And I've got the app open here and it's picking up the, the AC240's signal. Let's click on the serial number and I'll upload the, p the page here and it uh, it shows you what's going on with the unit right now I have the DC USB on so uh, I'll just turn that off okay, turn off the DC output okay and I'll turn it off so that's all the lights go off I can do the same thing with uh, the AC turn that off okay and that turned off as well. So right now it's not active at all. And up here is the settings. Number of different options here. Auto sleep. You can adjust the time, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or you can never shut it off. The eco, eco options. AC eco, you can turn it on or off. DC Eco, you can turn it on or off. There's also settings here. AC Eco shutdown, four hours. And that looks like to be the max. Anyway, lots of options to uh, choose from on this on this app. Gives you uh, lots of flexibility uh, to adjust your unit to what you want just using your phone. I mean, if you were to, to get a unit, you can you can rifle through this. I could probably just do an episode just on the app and the uh, instruction manuals. Um, it'd probably be an hour long just going through it all. When combined all together with the expansion batteries, incredible capacity. You throw in a P480 and another unit, 20,000 watts. Very versatile and rugged unit, so no matter what you're doing. You could be in an off-grid cabin scenario where you're powering your cabin. You could be RVing or traveling with your family down the highway. You could be on a boat. You could even be in your shop, powering your shop up. Maybe you have an off-grid shop, a carpentry shop or something like that. Excellent option. Plug the AC240 into the wall. As long as your uh, B210's hooked up to it, or any of the B210's, you could have four of them hooked up to it. It'll charge all at once. You could say the same thing with the P480. If you have a parallel connection with two AC240s and all the expansion batteries, plug it in, it'll charge all at once. Very, very versatile. I didn't get a chance to demonstrate the IP65 option or technology with the dust or anything like that because, well, it's still winter out. But we do have snow coming down right now, so it seems to be handling that pretty good. But in the future, I will be testing out the IP65 technology. 
as well as charging it with the PV350 solar panel. It'd be kind of pointless to do that this these days because it's been very cloudy lately. Hard to hard to get uh, a sunny day. But later on in the spring, we'll uh, we'll test that out and see what uh, what kind of charging capacity you can do. We can get what the sun we're gonna get. When the time's right, I also like to utilize this unit and try powering my my travel trailer with it. Right now, the travel trailer is stored for winter and it won't be out for a little while. But I think that unit will do very well, especially when you want it nice and quiet around the campfire. But you still need electricity. Or mornings when you're getting up to make your coffee, you don't want to start the generator up and wake everybody up. I'm really looking forward to trying this unit out in that regard. But we'll have a few overnights here at the cabin and we'll be utilizing the AC240 and the B210 expansion, expansion battery in place of the AC200P and give it a try. More to come with this unit and looking forward to it. So with that said, if you made it with me this far, I thank you and we'll talk to you later.